Six months ago, Abu Dhabi's new solar energy plant was just a few holes in the ground. But this week, the plant started supplying 10 megawatts of power to the Abu Dhabi grid. That's enough to power about 6,000 homes. For plant operators in Viromina, it's the first step towards a renewable future. It's, it's a huge step because we have just proven that yes, we can at a wide scale, at a utility scale, install solar to the Abu Dhabi grid. There will be a tiny portion of your electricity right now is actually being uh, produced by solar energy. The plant is part of Mazdar, the carbon neutral city under construction near Abu Dhabi as the Emirate looks to become a world leader in clean energy and reduce dependence on oil. Abu Dhabi wants to produce 7% of its energy from renewable sources by 2020. That's quite an ambitious target, and it's expected that a large proportion of that target will be met by harnessing Abu Dhabi's other abundant natural resource. The solar resource in the region is fantastic. The, the amount of energy you get from a solar panel in the Gulf in general is around, you know, will produce around twice as much energy as one in a place like Germany, which is currently the leading market for solar globally. So how does solar power actually work? Well, apparently it's quite simple. The sun strikes the solar panel and makes electrons inside it vibrate. This movement of electrons creates electricity, which is then ready to be pumped into the grid and into your home. It's a simple technology which has been around for 30 years, but the high cost of solar panels means that it's still not as cost effective as burning fossil fuels. Non-renewable energies, the energy that we're generally using right now, is from a long-term perspective only going to go up in cost. Uh, it is a declining resource. We will see that in the future uh, renewables will be as cost-effective if not more cost-effective than conventional energy. With Abu Dhabi pledging to generate around 1500 megawatts of renewable energy by 2020, it looks like solar power is about to have its time in the sun. Jerome Evans, Inside the National.